my name is Juliet K. Suvichi Nyamatama. I'm the woman member of parliament for Rakai district. I was first elected in 2016 and second elected in... Under normal rules of procedure, under normal circumstances, the rest of the witnesses have to be out. Under normal circumstances. Well, for the avoidance of doubts, I request that uh, let those other witnesses uh, march out to allow Honorable Subi to present our case and then lay on table that which he is submitting. Yes, somebody is going to take care of them. Yeah, you you make sure, yeah, make sure that they they are far from the from the door. Okay, please. For record purposes, my name is Juliet K. Suvich Nyamatama. I'm the woman member of parliament for Rakai district. I was first elected in 2016 and uh, elected for the second time in 2021. I am a daughter. I'm a wife to Mr. Bravo Katunji, and we are blessed with two beautiful children. I'm also a guardian to many children that I help in their school endeavors. Honorable Chair and Honorable Members of this committee, on the 9th of October, 2023, I received disturbing messages on my phone as a form of WhatsApp and many phone calls. And my phone number is uh, 0785-938792. And uh, these messages were indicating that uh, a one honorable Zake was in my constituency. Excuse me, are you submitting the name, I mean, the telephone contact, which... My phone contact, phone my phone contact that was receiving those disturbing messages. Okay, please. So I was told that uh, Honorable Zake, while in an area of Ramagwa Town Council at Ramagwa Playground in Buyamba Constituency, Rakai District, addressing a gathering of football match in which he was reported that, it was reported that Honorable Zake um, um, used... Procedure, Chair. Procedure. Not reading a statement. Have not seen it anywhere in the proceedings where a witness comes with a statement either in a digital form or hard copy and read it before tribunal. So procedurally that would be incorrect. She can be asked to lay them. He's saying that the witness is reading from the iPad what she's testifying. And procedurally right. If I'm a witness or if I'm giving evidence, I don't need to read from the iPad or in a written document. Everything should be in my brain because I'm conversant with what happened. My, my statement was very clear. Present your case. I did not uh, say you make it uh, rated either from the answer or wherever. The source of that information, it is with her. Uh, Honorable Chair, I wanted actually the... Lord Mayor, to give us evidence of what he's talking about in as far as our rules are concerned, because I don't think that being orderly and reading something that is orderly is out of order. I do not think that you think that I'm reading that I am married with two children, that I do not know that. I am only trying to be organized. And this committee, I request that if I'm above the rules, then rule me out according to our rules. I am only being organized. You saw the video. I wouldn't even be saying anything if... If, if anything, the video is clear. Uh, but anyway, thank you for your Procedure permission. Chair. Procedure, Chair. Anyway, are you Chamatama? <laughs> is Chamatama your name? No, Honorable Chair. Can I explain my no? Wonderful. Yes, please explain your no. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Chair. Questions are made to throw you... Uh -uh. Just explain, explain that, yeah. your no. Don't, don't I am not Chamatama. Mm -hmm. I want to explain that I am the only woman member of parliament in Rakai district. There is no any other woman member of parliament whose name is closed Chinyamatama Chamatama. 
So when someone says in a video clip and mispronounces your name but meaning you by saying don't bring back those MPs, I am the only woman member of parliament in Rakai district. Okay, okay, okay. Well, let, let, let's see. As, uh, let Are proceed. you Nalmansi? I am not Nalmansi and I will never be. Okay. You are talking of allegations of prostitution. Are you a prostitute? I am not a prostitute and I will never be. And you probably listen to it. Did the voice in that video said it to be that of the Honorable Zake in any way talk about prostitute, prostitution? The voice and the image of the person talking who is Honorable Zake in that video talks about prostitution. Echanya Matama, whatever he called it, an MP from Rakai district, who seems to be selling her body or herself in parliament. In my interpretation, and maybe the interpreter will help us, selling your body means prostitution. So did he say you are selling your body? Are you sure? He said, I look like, I think they should play it back because I didn't Did cram. Did you say so that you are You're not your going body? to force me to say what I don't remember. Let it be played so that I if hear you what remember, exactly you he say said. So. If you don't remember, you say so. You say you don't remember what exactly he said. I cannot say I don't remember when I have an opportunity to ask this committee to play it so that we know what exactly he said. It's you who is complaining. And you should be knowing what you are complaining about. And what you are saying is uh, denigrated you. I will repeat what he said. Okay. Oh, wonderful. So you interpret it in the best language. Did you understand that to be a statement of fact or a statement of opinion? I think it is both. Is it it a, is both. It's both a statement of fact and opinion. Yeah, to him, according to him who was talking about me, maybe he has facts. And maybe it is, I don't know, it is up to him to tell us. You understand it to be a statement of fact? What the Honorable colleague is requesting is that we have an interpretation of what you people are speaking in your mother tongue. Please go ahead and interpret. No, I wanted to collect it, Chair. Let's, let, the record has to capture exactly what you people have said because we are going to lie on that record when we are making decisions. Yeah, I, I was making reference to the Hansard chair, which has got the English... The, hold on. There are two... There are two what? There are two... With you and Honorable Chinyamatama have spoken some Luganda words. We want to know what they meant or what you people meant. Then we can proceed either way. Can we have that interpreted? Please say that again. So the word I spoke that alinge yetunda means that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It's not you to interpret Just it. Just speak as it is, and then we get the, the formal interpretation of what you've said. I think you're right. I repeat what I said so Ex that. Uh, yes. Uh, For purposes of our record. Alinge yetunda mu parliament. She seems like one who sells her body in parliament. She seems like one who sells her, her body, body in parliament. In parliament. Or resembles those who sell their No, 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 you, we leave it at that. We'll, those ones will be our interpretation. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's on the Hansard of 12, October, page 10,557. <coughs> And this is what, after the transcription, the translation made on the official, official record. She's, she's always there as if she is selling her body in the parliament. This is the statement I would like us to go through with you on the Honorable Chiamatama. As if she is selling her body in the parliament. 
did you understand that to be a statement of fact or opinion? The other one was in Uganda, and which you... No, she said it is both. Can I ask her to help me record? You want us to, to, to record for you? Because if you ask the same question and Anna's has been given and you ask it again, it doesn't make sense. But if no, the, the chair cannot, cannot please, please, become please, your Mr. personal... Mr. Uh, Serious business. Chair? We don't take it lightly. If anybody second, the chair will keep help me record. Please. Chair, permit me to end there. I'll ask the client to pick it up from there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We are equally sorry because With your permission, it is not I the chair that. to record a statement for you to write on your behalf. It's okay. You see, the, the, this committee does not conscript lawyers for you, Ms. Honorable uh, Zake. It is your choice, the lawyer of your choice. If you have a, a client to represent you, good enough. If you don't, good enough. 